You know, Christmas is a time when we enjoy gift giving. We give presents, we receive gifts or presents, and uh, usually a well-thought-out gift addresses a specific need in somebody's life. You want to address a need that you've observed or seen in their lives, and so you give them that gift. And uh, all of us, I think, we, we like to see how our gift is received. Uh, it makes us, the giver of the gift or the present, makes us happy. Those of us who received gifts, we realize that some gifts are actually timeless. So, I mean, they just endure through time and the, the recipient of that gift just enjoys it over time. I also want, to think, want us to think about this, that, you know, there are some presents we give that are actually what somebody desperately needs at that moment. And so there are those, those gifts, which you could probably call priceless, something that the recipient desperately needs at that juncture in their lives. They just need that. But what I want to bring our attention to is this, that the present or the gift that God gave to us in Jesus Christ, is eternal, is priceless. Now, some of us may say, you know, this gift is 2,000 years old. Is it still relevant? We've made tremendous advances in terms of science and technology and knowledge and, and so on. True, 2,000 years have elapsed, but people have not changed. And unfortunately, it's the negatives that have not changed. We may have grown intellectually in knowledge and in, in, in science, technology, and all the other things. But if we are honest with ourselves, we all struggle with this thing called sin, with this thing called wickedness. And secondly, though times have changed, our needs have not changed. All of us need a savior. All of us need a relationship with God. And all of us need purpose and meaning in life. So what I want to bring to your attention is this way, that when God sent the Savior, that present, that gift is still perfect today. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I want to just share a few descriptors that Jesus used for himself. This, he said, I am the bread of life. Jesus is that bread that really satisfies us. He said, I am the light of the world. Light dispels darkness. Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep. You and I are looking for an entrance into the kingdom of God. Jesus says, I am the door. Jesus said, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Water quenches thirst. Jesus said, I am that water of life. Jesus said, my peace I give you. We are all looking for peace, something that transcends uh, just human uh, uh, reasoning that try to uh, console us in difficult times, something that surmounts the storms we face. Jesus said, come to me all of weary and I will give you rest. He is still the rest giver. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. We are looking for direction. We are looking for answers. We are looking for meaning. Jesus says, I am that. Jesus said, I am the true wine. True wine representing vitality and fruitfulness. Jesus said, I am he who lives, who was dead. I'm alive forevermore and I have the keys of hell and death. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. I've gone through this and I have the ability to give you eternal life. Jesus said, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first and the last. Meaning, I am the center of everything. I am the reason for everything. Everything revolves around me. And I close with this descriptor he used. He said, before Abraham was, I am. I want us to understand that you and I need him. This is one gift that addresses a desperate need in our lives. You and I need somebody who will rescue us from sin, who will bring us into a relationship with God, who will give us life, meaning, and purpose, and who will secure our eternity. This morning, God's present, timeless gift is the Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs>